Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain you what is contents method in UI path and how to use it. So look at this, uh, this contents method is used to check whether the character or string exists in this given string. For example, I am going to give this string as input in our UI path studio and I am going to search whether this welcome string is exists in this string the in the given string or not. Okay. So finally it will give the output in this boolean value like true or false only. So if it exists in this um, in given string it will return a true value. If it, if it does not exit it will return a false value. And the comparison is case sensitive. For example when I give this uh, w in lower case it will give the input as false. So it is completely case sensitive. So the so in the back end the search begins at the first character of the string and it continues till this last character of the string. Okay. So I'm going to give this input. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel UI Path RPS School. Okay. And I'm going to search this word or this string in this input string. And we can see the return type in Boolean value. So let's go to UI path and drag and drop sequence activity into our designer panel and I will use assign activity to give input string and I will create a variable in this to field control plus k okay so I'm going to name it as string input so that's it and give the value here i will give hello everyone welcome to my journal yoipath rps school okay and i'm going to use one more assign activity and i will create a variable and i'm going to name it as string to search okay so here click on this value field and give the variable name string input and I'm going to use our method dot contains okay let me show you properly open in advanced editor so contains within braces and within quotations let me use welcome okay that's it and one thing you must remember is go to variables panel and string to search is it is going to return a boolean value like true or false so you need to change this variable type to boolean okay so string input is string that's it and i'm going to use message box activity to display the output message box and let me pass this variable which contains a boolean value true or false string to search So that's it. Let me run this bot. Okay, true. Yeah, it contains uh, the word welcome in this input string. Okay. So you can also use um, the dynamic uh, like input dialog activity to give the um, string dynamically so for example let me delete this one and this message box let me use input dialog activity and i will show you how to give user input dynamically and i will name it as string manipulation and in the label enter the string okay 
so within quotations enter the string so it will ask us to enter the string or it will ask the user to enter the string and at the value enter in this label i am going to create a variable to store the user enter data and i am going to name it as string to search so okay string to search already exists in the okay let me change its string for search i will give different variable name and one more assign activity to store the output and let me name it as string out okay and in the expression open advanced editor and in the expression i am going to give string input dot contains method and within braces i am going to give string for search variable name and let me change this variable type to the string out i am going to change this to boolean and delete this variable which we don't need now so to display this output i'm going to use message box activity and within this i will give this variable name string out okay so this is our input string so i'm going to Uh, check whether welcome string is exist in this string or not and this is input dialog activity and in this user will ask to enter the search to string dynamically so it will go and store in this search for string activity sorry search for string variable and i have used this assign activity and this i have used contains method to check whether the string exist or not in this variable and it is going to display the output in this message box so let me run this now i will give the input as channel uh, we know that channel string is exist in the given string but i am going to change this c to lower case so it will display the output in false because it is case sensitive so as we expected it is displaying the false so this is how uh, to use contains method in ui path thanks for watching please do subscribe and like to my video